Welcome to How to Yu-Gi-Oh! Grade a side set, Wild Survivors. Okay, so let's get on with this set. So we're going to be talking about the Wild Survivors set. I'm going to be talking about the three archetypes uh, in this set. Archetype number one, Vanquish Soul. Two, Transcendosaurus. And three, Novell. Let's go over those uh, potential ratings and hype that they have. First, we start off with Vanquish Soul at 70%. Vanquish Soul is at 70% simply because of its approval rating in the OCG and the amount of damage that it has done in the OCG meta scene. It has topped multiple times in OCG uh, official tournaments and we're definitely and it definitely deserves that potential rating of 70%. It also has had a surprising top in TCG in its first uh, tournament since release. So definitely there's very high expectations for Vanquish Soul and it has proven itself um, quite well over here. We have Transcendosaurus. Transcendosaurus, again, some of the, uh, you know, a new uh, sub archetype that helps dinosaurs definitely has a hype rating of just 50% simply because it's quite good. It's a bit 50-50. We don't really know how to use this support. Um, there's mixed feelings on the support, especially from, dino pl uh, from dinosaur players. Some consider it good. Some consider it... Um, subpar not everyone is using all the cards that are are all the dinosaur transcendosaurus monsters that have been printed so it's a bit of a mixed bag going to a 50 50 at 50 percent we will see whether it will perform in tcg um time will tell and we have with the lowest rating nouvelle at 30 percent nouvelle at 30 percent is basically the potential rating I'm seeing with this deck. Um, this, I think, is looking to be the worst set of the year, maybe? I don't think so. I think this set is still is looking really, really good still because Vanquish Soul has profiteered. And we're going to be seeing what set is going to be the worst set of the year. It's going to be pretty wild. But anyways, looking at Nouvelle... Um, its potential is pretty low because Hungry Burger is really not going to do much. Although it's gotten new support and we have some, uh, you know, Nouvelle is French there with, you know, Hungry Burger in the recipe. There's a lot, it leaves a lot to be desired and I don't think it's going to go. And so we have a support update, which is just Hungry Burger. That's the only card we're going to mention in this set. There's not really much going for Wild Survivors, really. Although it's a side set, we don't have any good reprints in this set. We don't have any notable new cards that have come in this set. No reprints, no nothing. Um, so yeah, it's pretty lackluster for a set. Definitely, I would definitely rate it to be the worst set of the year. Um, that was looking at like Amazing Defenders, but Amazing Defenders has delivered on all fronts and most of those archetypes going this year have topped. I think in this set, I think maybe we're just going to see Vanquish Soul do something. Um, Transcendosaurus, I don't think Dinos are going to do anything. And I think going forward, I think this set can be considered to be the worst set of the year. I think... I think definitely it's going to enter that Yu-Gi-Oh! Awards ceremony. I, I'm, I'm, I think I'm pretty sure. I think calculating everything and looking at everything going forward, yeah, it's not. It's looking to be a very extremely weak, weak set. So, yeah, that's that's about it, really. Let's carry on. Okay, and we're going to start off with this, as you see on the screen. Yu-Gi-Oh! Confirmed Award Winners. We have a random national top award, Vanquish Soul. This is very surprising. In its first, in the first ever nationals after Wild Survivors has been released, we're seeing a top in a nationals for a completely new archetype that have just entered into the TCG scene. Absolutely amazing. And it's going to win this award. Um, it's all well deserved, all well good. Is it going to... Is it going to take it by storm? Is it going to be the best uh, new archetype premiere in 
2023 is it going to win several accolades in your in the award ceremony that we're going i'm going to have on my channel um near the end of this year we don't know but definitely it's uh something to watch out for something we i'm very excited about and vanquish soul has a lot now riding on it there's a lot of expectations now on this archetype can it deliver can it go that extra distance we don't know but we're gonna see we have some several i think we have like maybe five or six tournaments to go is it going to get a top is it going to win a wise official ycs event is this the point where it dies we will see very exciting times and um yeah that's pretty much it really and i think that's all i've got to say about wild survive uh you know the side set wild survivors overall conclusion it's uh mid set it's it's a set that is just mid you know so so uh while vanquish Soul has does have hype around it and it has topped right but really what has the set really hasn't added much to the Yu-Gi-Oh table um while vanquish Soul is again we can say good archetype um nouvelle isn't going to enter a competitive scene i don't think transcendosaurus that that sub archetype that helps dinosaurs is gonna help dinosaurs in any way to enter the competitive scene i think it's pretty much dead on arrival while a lot of the uh reprints in this set uh, in this set are for dinosaurs are really not really old or the best nothing's really added to the table nothing of value was lost we're definitely going to be seeing in the future whether this set is gonna hold true but honestly for this year and looking at the way things are going final verdict and final grade of this set i think is is an e i think an e for excellent i think it's below a d it's just an excellent set but that is not saying much it's pretty mediocre and pretty mid at best but you know we'll see and that's all i've got to say about wild survivors we come to the end of this video so as i like to say you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh master my faith right is in your hands